in the same weapon that basically showcases the Honkai series, which is the bat. All right, my friends. So today we have some absolutely insane news that we are going to talk about, and I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comments section below. Now, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Honkai Impact Third and Honkai Star Rail. And without any further ado, let's just get started. So Honkai Impact. Third and Honkai Star Rail are going to collab with each other and apparently the collab is going to start in Honkai Impact Third. We don't know if it is going to go to Honkai Star Rail as well but for now in Honkai Impact Third there will be a collab between Honkai Star Rail and Honkai Impact Third. Now the collab is basically an idea of a new story. That story is going to handle how would the world of Honkai Impact Third change if instead of the story being on Earth and Mars, it is in a different world. And that world is the world of Honkai Star Rail. So there will be interactions between Honkai Star Rail and Honkai Impact 3rd characters. And there will be basically uh, different stuff that will have to do with both worlds together. And that is going to be absolutely magnificent. Now they didn't talk about whether this is going to be a canon story or non-canon story. But they did say that this is just them somewhat testing the waters and see how it would go. How people would receive it. And basically depending on the reaction of the uh, players. They might actually make it a canon story. And they might take it to Honkai Star Rail as well. So if you like the idea. Make sure to make them know that you like the idea. Because if enough people like the idea. They will most likely make it canon. And make more and more stories like that. E either way they did give us a a little small video about how that would look like so we are going to watch it right now and we will see how it is and don't forget to let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below so let's get started with this and see how it is so first of all they show us basically weld here as you can see uh, they show us him sitting uh, and then they show us Two of the writers. The one on the right is basically a writer mainly for Honkai Impact Third. He doesn't write for Honkai Star Rail. However, the right on the left is a most likely known writer for both Honkai Impact Third players and Honkai Star Rail players. And that is none other than Xiaoji himself. Xiaoji is going to be basically uh, uh, working on this uh, project as well which is really awesome he is the writer for the Honkai uh, series IP not only Honkai Impact 3rd not only Honkai Star Rail but both of them together with Hokai Gauken 2 as well so he is a writer for the series in general and seeing him working on this project gives me actually hope that it is going to be a pretty crazy project to be honest then after that they show us that the collaboration is going to happen. They are trying to make it look like a movie, which I really like. I love the idea. Then they show us Jing Yuan in a completely different animation style, which is really awesome. And I really like this style. I can't wait for it. And then after that, they show us basically Ting Yun, Fei Xiao and Jing Yuan together with a character that might not be known for Honkai Star Rail players because that is a Honkai Impact third play uh, character. Now, I think that the name is pronounced as Shui Shui Yuan or Xuan Yuan, something like that. I don't remember exactly what the name was because it is an, an extremely old character actually in Honkai Impact 3rd. So this is a boss in Honkai Impact 3rd. However, as you might know from the name, it is a Chinese character and therefore it fits very well for the Xianzhou La Fu to be basically uh, together with it. So that's why the, that character specifically is together with these characters specifically. Specifically. Then after that we move on and we see this character and after that we move on and we see basically uh, Welt again. If I remember correctly one of them said that uh, basically Welt said here uh, that it's about time we can return to our 
to our uh, homeland which means that he might be indicating that they are going to go from Hunkai Star Rail to Hun back to Hunkai Impact 3rd which is just an insane idea and that is going to turn out to be canon sometime later on in the Hunkai Star Rail story because there is no way they will just keep uh, Welt uh, going on around the world like this without being able to return to his homeland so most likely that is going to happen later on regardless of whether this animation being basically canon or not then after that they give us the very last uh, moment or not the very last moment but the very last part of the animation here as you can see we have basically Nua, Foxy and we have Bailu. Bailu is in the middle for all Honkai Star Rail players they know who Bailu is in case you are a Honkai Impact 3rd player that is Bailu in the middle and then we have basically uh, Nua on the left the one in black and that character is basically what Link Sha who is a, an upcoming character in Honkai Star Rail is built around as you can see she is the exact same character uh, just with the difference that uh, Li Link Sha is basically half dragon because she is a Vidyahara while uh, Nua isn't actually that and she has a snake on her leg as you can see <laughs> this is ridiculous oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then we have actually on the right Foxy and Foxy is I believe if I am not mistaken she is basically a twin with uh, Noah uh, they could be just sisters I don't remember exactly but they are basically related to each other and they are uh, in relation with Fuhua as well so these are the characters that you are seeing here they also fit together because they are basically uh, uh, you can say scientists since Bai Lu is a scientist as well not just a healer so all three together are are fitting in that in that term however it seems like they are fighting with either it seems like a Foxian right so maybe they are fighting against a Foxian or maybe against a Borisin who is basically um, who is trying to act as a Foxian so <laughs> <laughs> that is that or they are trying to heal him I don't know either either way they go on basically then and show us one of the absolutely most insane things they could actually show us and that is Kiana the main protagonist in Honkai Impact 3rd fighting with the uh, female MC uh, the main protagonist of Honkai Star Rail in the same weapon that basically showcases the Honkai series which is the bat. The baseball bat is the most important weapon in, in any Honkai series ga uh, game and the main protagonist has to always use that bat. They always has to use that bat because that is the iconic weapon of a Honkai character or a Honkai main character. So you can see that the two main characters from Honkai Impact 3rd and Honkai Star Rail are fighting or sparring, maybe they are training together uh, using basically their bats, which is really nice and a very awesome touch from them. And then later on they show us... <laughs> <laughs> Xiaoji, Xiaoji, he can't hide it, no matter how much he try, he can't hide it. As you can see, we have basically the Elysian Realm and the Elysian Realm of Honkai Star Rail. That's what we have here. We have Elysia on the left, who is basically the main character of the Elysian Realm uh, arc, even though Mei was technically the main character, but Elysia took the lights and became the main character without any competition at all. And then we have the main character of the uh, Penakini story which is the Elysian realm of uh, the Honkai Star Rail story and as you can see we have basically Firefly there uh, the reason why I am saying that Firefly is the main character for that one because the story was pretty much evolving around her together with the MC and the same thing was happening in the Elysian realm where the story was evolving around Elysia together with basically Mei so that's why I am saying that these two are the main characters of the two stories that pretty much are the exact same stories but just written in two different uh, in two different uh, worlds in two different uh, universes and they were made basically like that so uh, them putting them putting these two specific characters together is a very clear indication from them that yes 
Firefly is the Alicia of the Hunkai Star Rail. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Firefly will never be as important as Alicia, but she is basically in her place in that specific story. And seeing them together like that, dressed like that, they are dressed like they are in a party this is actually a very beautiful dress so it's really nice to see them together like that watching the stars fall i just hope that these are stars and they are in the rainbow arbiter uh, striking places <laughs> <laughs> that would be so this this desperate anyways that is pretty much the end of it and they tell us that Honkai Impactored and Honkai Star Rail are going to collab. Now look at this. This is Honkai Impactored on the on the left in its own logo and Honkai Star Rail on the right in its own logo and then voila. <laughs> We get Hunkai Impact 3rd in the Hunkai Star Rail logo and Hunkai Star Rail in the Hunkai Impact 3rd logo. This is absolutely a ridiculous move. That was just absolutely phenomenal and I really like it. They did a very good job. I can't wait for this animation to come and the story itself. It is coming in 7.9 uh, in Hunkai Impact 3rd. So within a month, a month of, uh, and a half from now, we should get basically the story and I really can't wait to see what they are going to do for it anyways let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Hunkai Star Rail and Hunkai Impact 3rd and until next time see you as always in the next video